Hi there, I wanted to do a quick little intro on uh, one of the topics once I launch my page that's not on there but there's a little description is one of my programs that I'm super passionate excited about is called Think Yourself Skinny and the reason why I'm excited about it is because it has nothing to do with exercise and it has nothing to do with diet but it has everything to do with healing and energy and that's where the Think Yourself Skinny comes from and I created this years ago, I said it, because people would ask me when I lost my weight, um, I was overweight four times, once through pregnancy, twice through love fat, where I was in a relationship and I put on a ton of weight, sitting around and watching Netflix and chill. And then one was carelessness. And, you know, when I think back at all the times and how that happened, and then when I lost it, it wasn't really about diet and exercise. It was just about energetically and healing myself, basically releasing the fat. I felt safe. Some of my relationships, I didn't feel safe. My body automatically holds on to it. So if we were to talk about it in like a biological, scientific way, you would know then that cortisol for women and I used to say this when lots of women would go to the gym and be working out mad on the treadmill and not having any results is I would say when you connect the mind body soul but also with that being said like your environment do you like your husband do you like your work do you like your kids if there's any area where you have a lot of stress in your life and you're not happy and you are releasing a lot of cortisol not to mention put on top of that when you're at the gym and your body's already stressed and then that puts on even more stress. You know, it just clicked for me and I'm like, I just, I don't understand. The, and you know, lots would come to me and say, I'm eating right, I'm doing all the right things. And it didn't matter because at the end of the day, your body wasn't safe enough to release it. Now, if we think back into the tribal days, you know, there used to be a scarcity of food and so your body would naturally hold on to it. But we don't have that anymore. So w technically, we shouldn't see people walking around with this excess adipose tissue, fat, whatever you want to call it on your body. There, That to me says there's an underlying issue and we are walking billboards. It has, n I think, nothing to do with food because lots of people say I don't even eat that much. So then what does that mean? It means that you have to get into your body into your mind and your nervous system and you have to learn to release and find out why your body is holding on to all this weight and I promise you the minute that you do find out why your fat melts right off of you I'm living proof so some things that I do that um make a big difference is journaling, prompting, asking questions. I ask a lot of questions. Here's one thing that I do that's really weird. And I've always wanted to do this program, but I always thought it was weird when people would be like, as if Kat's gonna be doing a program called Think Yourself Skinny. Uh, She talks to her fat. Yeah, I do. I stand in the mirror naked and I talk to my body. And you need to get personal and get comfortable with yourself and start having a conversation you know I learned to in the gym when I used to do competing um with one of my my trainer Dr. Sar Dr. Komar Sarvish is you know he he didn't like headphones and stuff in and it was all about focusing on the body part that you were working on and it makes a big difference. If you just go to the gym, you'll see people just throwing weights around, doing whatever. They're not really focusing on a certain part of their body. How can your body do what it has to do when you're just kind of not focusing and no intention and no drive, no desire? I, sure, over a long period of time, sure, you'll gain a bit of muscle and, you know, but... If you really want to focus and change and transform, you got to really focus on things individually. So for me, even like if I want to work on my glutes, when I go to the gym, I'm focusing on my glutes. It's like I'm putting all of my energy into that one area. If I'm working on my tricep, if I'm working on my quads, I'm not just going in and throwing weights around. 
But that's for another topic because we're not doing that for this. We are getting into the mind and we are going to set intentions and desire on releasing body fat and keeping it off because you've probably done every diet. You've done every exercise program. It sucks. Nobody likes doing that. This is going to be the new way. Think yourself skinny. I walk around naked in my home saying beautiful, wonderful things about my body. And I am by any means perfect. I have stretch marks and cellulite and I have the whole thing. But because of how I treat and talk to my body, it serves me. It serves me well. I get a lot from it. And so this is kind of what this program is going to be about. Thinking yourself skinny, reprogramming your nervous system, making your body feel safe to release the fat so it doesn't have to hang on to it. Having less cortisol, we can get into some of the science talk. So some of the prompts here are like, you know, um, what to you doesn't feel good? Um, is, you know, um, what's another one? Why do you feel like it's not deserving? Why do you feel like you should just be like, accept me for who I am? Where's that coming from? Because at the end of the day, that's not what you want. You don't want that. Nobody wants that. You want to be feeling good about yourself and finally in a cute outfit or going to the beach or you just don't want to be going accept me for who I am. You don't accept you for who you are. I know you don't. I've been there. I did. I never accepted myself. I, I hated myself. I hated the way I looked naked. I want to feel good. I want to feel good when I'm by myself and I want to feel good when I'm with my partner and I want to feel sexy and I want all the things. I want to be able to put lingerie on and, and look at myself and feel proud that I did a little bit of work for myself and not just be like, well, just accept me for who I am. You shouldn't even accept you for who you are. You should be striving to be the best you could be. And I'm not saying you have to be perfect. We all have our little bit of flaws and things, but you work with that. And so that's basically what this program is about. Think yourself skinny is going to have nothing to do with diet and exercise. That's a byproduct and that eventually comes into the program. But it's easy because your mind has changed. You're not having to like take foods away you don't want and doing programs and exercises you don't like. I'm in my feminine now. I'm in my masculine right now teaching this to you, but I'm in my feminine. I want to do light stuff. I want to walk on the beach. I want to do stretching and yoga and I want to do dancing and fun things and so that's what we're all going to touch on as well and I'm excited for this program because finally I'm putting it out there I'm just looking at my note to see if I have went over everything toxins in your body get released every diet works yes every diet works I've seen diets with people that ate chocolates um, so we'll talk about that as well. Um, and then you just want to have that conversation with yourself and your fat and tell yourself it's safe to release it and find out why you think it's not. Why are you holding on to that? We don't live in tribal days. You don't need all that on you anymore. You don't want it on you anymore. We're going to talk about skin tightening, skin loosening, how to feel vibrant and young again. I just turned 49 in April. I feel so young. I look young. My hair is so nice. My skin is so nice. So I believe it has a lot to do with how I treat myself, the respect I have for myself, the energy I put into myself. And I'm not saying I eat perfect all the time. But I'm very careful at what I put into my body now. Sure, you can have a treat here and there. But we are provided with so much good foods. And so there is no reason that you should feel like you have to stay in the body that you're in. Because you do not have to. And you could really feel good about yourself. And wear a cute dress. And a cute outfit. I mean, you must be sick of every time you're going out, you put something on and you're like, fuck, I'm bad. I hate myself. I hate this outfit. I don't even want to wear this. Do you accommodate your outfits because of how you look underneath? You'd be like, if I was 20 pounds lighter, I would probably wear that. 
then let's get there. Let's lose the 20 pounds and keep it off because I've kept mine off. I'm not my competition weight, but I'm my, my ideal weight, my set point weight for, for my body. And I can take or leave a few pounds here and there, but I'm happy with who I am and my body shape and how I am. So you can be too. And so that's what this program is going to be about. So I hope that you, this maybe resonate and this is something you want to do and do something new and really get into it. There's going to be a lot of journaling, a lot of meditating, a lot of energy, a lot of healing, a lot of knowing that finding things out about yourself that you did not know or you forgot about and understanding why you are thinking the way you're thinking about where you are right now because you do not need to stay there you do not need to so click the link below if this resonated with you and you want to have a transformation this year see you soon